Hey, Rich Pilot Slim speaking. Today we're doing a comparison flight for auto rotations with the Microsoft Flight Simulator helicopter, the 407, and the DCS World Bell Huey. We're going to do three rounds. The first one's going to be engine failure at takeoff, which is uh, round one here. Are you ready to get going? All right, let's go ahead and get over, go over here and see what happens. Engine failure, that should be pretty simple, don't you think? Well, it didn't slide. You'd expect to have a little bit of a slide there, but we got it on the ground. My collective, though, look at it. It, it, it kind of jerks around on me too much. Well, here I am in the Bill Huey now, DCS World. Let's go ahead and get this. Well, this is a big old boy here, ain't it? We can get it airborne here. So, just like with uh, the 407, round one will be a engine failure at takeoff here. Let's get rolling. I'm already liking the graphics on here better. Right, and we are airborne. And let's see what happens here. Flying along, taking off. That don't sound good, does it? Using back in my collector, working my my rudder. Ooh, the sucker's heavy. And we're on the ground, safe and sound. And I'm gonna show you something. Look at my collective. See how smooth that is. Look at my uh, cyclic. Look at that. How smooth. My pedals, overall the flight performance of the DCS Huey and their modeling is so much better than the, than the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Alright, that's round one. Let's try round two. Back to the 407. Well, here we go, round two. Round two, we're going to take it up to about five, six hundred feet. We're going to set up a cruise speed of about 70, 80 miles per hour. And once we get to level flight with those parameters set, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, initiate another engine failure. What do you say? As we're looking along here, I think my graphics settings got a little jumbled up here because I'm normally not getting these uh, blurry graphics from Microsoft. Normally they're a little bit crisper with the Ultra, but I don't know what's going on. We seem to have a bug in the system the last few days with the uh, flight simulator. I can't figure it out. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys my first helicopter flight lessons were back in 1991 and I took my initial helicopter lessons on the Hughes 300 Charlie model. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's the uh, TH-55 in military terms. I know they trained quite a few pilots back in the day with those old Hughes and it was a good old helicopter. Um, I don't think they had the Robinsons back then. I don't know if they had Robinsons back in the early 90s or, or what. Or, Probably not in my neck of woods. It was either a Bell or Hughes in my area. Uh, my instructor was an old Vietnam pilot, CW4. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was the best flying lessons I ever had. It was $175 an hour back then. I thought I was getting this raked over to Coles. But ooh, have you seen what the prices are for helicopter instruction these days? Well, I lied to you. I said we're going to do an engine failure at about 80 miles per hour. We're at 100 and we're going to go ahead and get back to level fly here. The controls are squirrely today. I tell you what, I got an engine failure easing down on my collective, bringing my collective down, kind of easing up on my cyclic. I'm getting away from those aircraft parked on the flight line. And I don't know what's going on. Look at this. I'm moving my cyclic, but it ain't moving. So that was Microsoft there. I did not jerk that. That's going to cost me dearly, ain't it? Ouch. Well, look at that. I'm trying to move my cyclic. Look at this. Look how stiff it is. I don't know what's going on with this cyclic on the uh, Microsoft here. Well, as you can hear, I'm restarting the same helicopter. We're going to fly the same one twice. 
after uh, round one, did you notice that uh, parts and pieces were broken off that 407? I couldn't refly the same helicopter twice, but here we are. This Huey held together. Let's get going here. Round two. All right, round two. We're going to take off. We're going to go up to about five, six hundred feet, like with the other model, 407. And we're going to take it up to about 80, 90 miles per hour to keep it there, and do a level flight, and then engine failure. What do you say? I'm liking this DCS world, though. I've been a fan of Microsoft. I've had Microsoft Fly Simulator since the 2000s, early 2000s. I had pretty much every edition. And I remember the old flight models, you know, remember the old Bell Rangers and uh, whatnot. It, uh, the auto rotations pretty well. And now, like I told you before in other videos, I've never flown the Bell Huey. Uh, the closest I've come to flying it, just riding in the back of it a few times, but I have flown the 206, so I have done auto rotations in the uh, two-bladed helicopter situation here. And, uh, I really was expecting, after round one, that the 407 in the real world would have much better characteristics flying as far as being smooth and uh, auto-rotating better than this Huey would, but I think it really comes down to Microsoft versus DCS and how they got their, uh, I don't know, their programming or whatever you call it worked out. Because I'm just not getting that warm and fuzzy flying the 407 in the auto rotation. But here we are. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more out too. We'll go to a steady flight. And we're level off. Keep flying here. Got a master caution on. Reduce my throttle setting. Oop, that don't sound good. Cyclic. I'm going to ease back a little bit more here. Try and manage my closure. Like I said, here we go. Ah, I messed up. I got her there. We're on the ground safely. Look at that. Well, here we go, everybody. Third and final round back in the 407 one more time. Uh, so far, DCS is kicking the butt out of Microsoft, ain't it? The fly characteristics when you're wanting to do something other than just circle pretty pretty landscape is not very well, is it? Now, well, some terrible cyclic performance in this model. Now, right, we're going to go ahead and put her into about a steady hover right about here. Pull it up a little bit more. And if you're ready, let's go ahead and shut the power off. All right, Tom Petty, free falling. Right, power off. Engine loss. I'm easing on my cyclic, pushing forward down on my collective. Let's see what happens here. Oh. That's not too bad. Sliding across the ground here to an easy stop. Well, finally, Microsoft need to get this one. Let's see how the Bill Huey does. Ah, well, here I am, third and final round. Y'all saw how the 407 did just then. It uh, locked up the cyclic and just came tumbling down for the most part. So let's go ahead and get the uh, Huey up here. I expect the Huey not to do as good in round three, but. I've been surprised, like I said, I was surprised the 407 actually cooperated last time. We'll see how it goes here. Let's go ahead and put it up to a hover here. Let's get a little bit more altitude. Come on, 500. Uh, there you go, 500. Let's go ahead and uh, level off. Whoa, this thing's heavy, ain't it? Alright, so we're at a right there. And let's see what happens here. I do not want to hit one of those eagles, that'd be expensive. Uh oh. Alright, engine failure. Collective down, easing. My cyclic forward, and whoa. Well, we're going to 
going to do that over again because Bill Huey deserves better. That was a total pile of air on my part. I wasn't expecting this thing to be a lead balloon and just fall out of the sky like that. Let's try it one more time here from the take over the little side runway. We'll do a, a bonus round. So we can get a perfect score for the Huey here up to 500 feet. Did y'all see that though? Man, I wasn't expecting it. I, I pushed my collective forward and started using down on my uh, collective. And this thing dropped out of the sky like somebody dropped a lead balloon or a brick off a building. That was down we went. Ah, I can't get back up to 500 feet. This thing's so heavy. You see I'm working my my pedals. Alright, we're at 500 feet. I'll make sure it's zeroed out because I think we may have been still climbing a little bit. We may have overloaded our... Alright, here we go. Engine failure. Come on! I'm pushing my collective forward here. Come on, come on, come on! Whoa! That wasn't so pretty either, was it? But we're on the ground safely. How bad's our damage? Hey. We might be in sick bay for a few days, but we didn't blow up. Well, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I definitely think that DCS World has an edge on Microsoft Flight Simulator when it comes to their handling characteristics, especially in auto rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to DCS World 2 to 1 today. Thanks for watching, everybody.